share with our listeners the journey that you went through in nominating? So I was incredibly lucky to have a mentor from very early on in my career and who remains one of my mentors today. And really they knew where my strengths and weaknesses were from the get-go and developed both of them in a really strategic way. But I guess it was this mentor who, you know, kind of sat me down a couple of years ago prior to me nominating and said, you know, down the track, This is the award we should put you in for, but let's work towards it and actually plan it and uh, think about what are the things that would make you a good candidate. So we sat down one day and we noted all the things. We looked at the criteria and looked through all the things that would make me a strong candidate for the award. None of the things were out of the way. They also weren't things that I would just do one off just because I want to take this award home. It was things that I should do that would make me a better planner, you know, over time, would make me be a better decision maker and be able to work through problems strategically. So I suppose between my mentor and I, we developed a plan. And I think this is really important because you should actually plan for things like this and look at what kind of other opportunities, things like sitting on divisional committees and volunteer roles, what do you want to do to actually allow you to be in with a better chance? So I guess I definitely didn't wake up one morning and decided I was going to nominate. And we did check in after each year as part of our development plan. We checked in and looked at what things I needed to improve on to make myself a better candidate. 